Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a how to cream, contour, and highlight the face. So that's just going to be using two simple products, which is a concealer and a cream contour shade. Um, so uh, yeah, if you guys want to see how I do this and my techniques, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so when I do cream contour, I always start with a light shade and then I move to the darker shade. So what we're going to do is just highlight the face first and I am going to be using my new favorite concealer. I need to do a review on this because this is just so, if my hair looks like disgusting and I look like a boy, don't worry. Um, but anyway, this is the best concealer ever. You guys know that I am ride or die for the Maybelline um, Age Rewind, but this just takes the cake. I will never go to anything else ever again. I will be repurching this forever. Don't care. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I know I am late to the show on this one. I just, to be honest, I couldn't afford this at the time. And then I got a little bit of extra money, so I went out and got Shape Tape. This is the best concealer I've ever used in my entire life. Ever. Ever. Go out and buy it and try it. But anyway, so... We're going to start with Shape Tape, so I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to go underneath my eyes just as I would to regularly conceal. What I love about this concealer is, one, it doesn't really have a smell. Two, can you see that? Can you see that? Is, if that's not full coverage, I don't know what is. But okay, moving on. The doe foot applicator is huge, which I love. Really love that. Just because you can move more product around with it, I feel. Um, but I wanted to say that with highlighting and contouring your face, everybody does it differently because people want to highlight and contour different parts of their face. So I like to do a little bit on the chin, um, bridge of the nose. Now I really don't have an issue with my nose, so I do not contour my nose. And the forehead. That is just like, I look like a clown. It's crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna take a really good product that you can find at the drugstore. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the color Cool Tan. Now, this is a concealer. I'm using it as a contour shade. So, with that being said, you can use any color you want. It doesn't even have to be a contour shade. You can use a concealer. I like to use a concealer just because I think it adds a little bit more full coverage. So what you want to do is if you're going to start from the, oh, hold on, you need to blend this a little bit better. Make sure foundation is all blended down. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to do one swipe up here and another swipe down the other side. So it looks like this. I don't like to put contour all over. Then you're going to suck in your cheeks and find the hollows of your cheekbones and that's where you're going to put the line Oh, the contour shade. Just like that. Same thing on the other side. Good. Good. Now, I personally don't do under the chin area or under the lip area or even the nose area. I usually just do forehead and cheeks when cream contouring. 
So I'm gonna leave it at that. If you want to do more, by all means, do you. Um, so now I'm going to blend out concealer first. I always do concealer first because I have a habit of doing this first and then transferring over to this side and then it gets all mixed in with the concealer and I don't like that. So we're just gonna blend this out just like you normally would. And you guys are gonna see why I love this concealer in a minute. It's just so freaking nice. Like, it's really freaking nice. <sighs> it's not tacky. It's not anything like that. It blends so nice with my foundation. And I use the... Uh, Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect. Forehead. Okay. Now I'm going to take the flat side of my sponge and I'm going to push the product up. You never want to push a brown product down because it's going to make your face droop. So you want to just push it up and blend it out. Just do pushing up motions and blend. Same for the other side. Okay. Now for the top part on the forehead, I'm gonna push the product back into my hairline. And come down. Make sure it gets all around the forehead. Now if you don't use enough product at first that is okay you can always add more however i suggest putting less first and not what you think would be the right amount first just in case and there you have it folks this is how i quickly cream contour and highlight my face there you can see my nice little line i will eventually just blend that out with um my bronzer and everything so yeah that is how i cream contour and highlight and i love these products together they work really really well together um so yeah that is this video if you guys have any questions on this video please feel free to leave a comment down below um and yeah, I can tell you guys more and more about Shape Tape in another video if you'd like, which I'm probably going to do because I love the Shape Tape. It is actually really, really good. So yeah, that is today's video. I hope you guys learned a lot for cream contouring and highlighting in a quick manner. <laughs> um, so yeah, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications to be notified for when I post videos, which is Monday through Friday. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.